The defenders of freedom, the defenders of the helpless, they are not Martin Luther King, George Washington, or the Dalai Lama. They are the white blood cells in your body. They are your knights in shining armor. Without them, you would be helpless, and you wouldn't be free to do much of anything but live in a protective bubble. That's why we'll take a look at how doctors watch for abnormal increases or decreases in their numbers within your body using blood tests. Many different values can be found on important blood test called a complete blood count. Some of these values pertain to your white blood cells. One value is shortened as WBC. It stands for white blood cells. The normal white blood cell count in a person's body is approximately 4,000 to 11,000 cells per microliter. An abnormal elevation in the white blood cell count is called leukocytosis, and an abnormal decrease in the white blood cell count is termed leukopenia. Leuco stands for white in white blood cells, while penia is the Greek word for poverty or deficiency of something. It'll be important to remember that little tidbit for later. The white blood cell count is made up of the total count of many different white blood cells, including neutrophils, lymphocytes, monocytes, eosinophils, and basophils. The majority of the count is made up of neutrophils, and that is what we'll focus in on the most right now. It is safe to say that leukocytosis most commonly occurs as a result of neutrophilia, which is an abnormally increased amount of neutrophils. Keep the following general reasons in mind for why neutrophilia may occur. Infection, especially bacterial infection. Inflammation, especially increased in acute inflammation more so than other leukocytes. Stress, cancer, drugs, and more. Do note that infection and inflammation can go hand in hand, but inflammation does not have to be infectious in origin, as in the case of an autoimmune disease. What's also important to know is how severe the elevation or decrease is and when it occurs. As an interesting tidbit, during a bacterial infection, bacterial endotoxins initially cause an abnormally low neutrophil count called neutropenia. Recall that penia refers to poverty or lack of something. However, within a few hours, neutrophilia will result. The details of why this occurs are interesting, but we just don't have time for it in this lesson. But I will indulge you in another interesting concept known as a left shift instead. If you ever hear this term, this means that the bone marrow is releasing a lot more immature neutrophils, called banned neutrophils, to go join the fight against some kind of trigger of inflammation, such as bacteria. The baby banned cells, the immature baby neutrophils, are released prematurely because there is a high demand for them to go join the fight since the mature soldiers are already dying in droves in the thick of the fight. It's essentially a sign there is something really wrong in the body because no one in their right mind would want poor little baby band cells to go into a war zone. Neutrophils are the frontline troops involved in your protection. They are like the common and numerous privates in an army, selflessly running towards the front lines to defend you. Thankfully, neutrophils, banned neutrophils or not, aren't alone in their fight for your freedom, health, and prosperity. Another white blood cell that is part of the leukocyte count is known as a lymphocyte. An abnormal increase of lymphocytes, or lymphocytosis, is generally attributed to viral infections, chronic or long-standing inflammatory diseases or infections, and cancer such as chronic lymphocytic leukemia and acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Lymphocytes are like the army engineers in your private army. They provide your body with highly specialized responses and products for specific problems. The major or most important reason for abnormal elevations in other white blood cells include an abnormally elevated eosinophil count, termed eosinophilia, as a result of parasitic infestation or allergic reactions. Eosinophils are like counterintelligence units of the body. They're not very numerous compared to the privates, but they fight against the subversive tactics of sneaky parasites and internal saboteurs trying to destroy your body in autoimmune disease. 
infections, cancer, and inflammation resulting in elevated numbers of monocytes, something we call monocytosis. I tend to think of monocytes sometimes as special forces because they, like the Navy SEALs, can transform into units suited for different environments and tissues on command. And finally, rarely elevated levels of basophils, termed basophilia, as a result of malignant processes or cancer can cause abnormal elevations in white blood cells. Basophils are in many cases very similar to eosinophils in how they function. Of course, there's always another side to every story. This is no different for white blood cells, where decreases as opposed to elevations may be noted during testing. While there are many nuanced reasons for why white blood cells may be decreased on blood work, I want you to focus on the main theme of what leukopenia results in. A leukopenia itself can occur due to medications like corticosteroids, infections such as HIV turning into AIDS, aplastic anemia, radiation, and certain types of cancer. If any of these processes destroy the bone marrow or the white blood cells themselves, then any or all of the white blood cells may be decreased in number. The end result with all of these causes is a suppression of the immune system's ability to produce or use white blood cells to fight off disease. As a final but important note, you must realize that noting the amount of an increase or decrease in one or all of the cells of the white blood cell count is very important in helping to diagnose a problem. For instance, mild elevations in the white blood cell count might be attributed to stress, higher elevations due to infection, and extremely high elevations due to cancer. Therefore, doctors don't just look for an elevation or decrease. They look for a certain kind of elevation or decrease to judge the most likely cause of it, as well as looking for changes in elevations or decreases over time. Let's go over the critical information you should remember from this lesson's content. An abnormal elevation in the white blood cell count is called leukocytosis, and an abnormal decrease in the white blood cell count is termed leukopenia. Neutrophilia is an abnormally increased amount of neutrophils that mainly occurs due to bacterial infections and acute inflammation. It is commonly the cause of leukocytosis. On the other hand, an abnormally low neutrophil count called neutropenia can occur for a wide variety of reasons that may decrease other leukocyte counts, including infection, cancer, and toxins. Furthermore, an abnormal increase of lymphocytes, lymphocytosis, is usually attributed to viral infections or long-term inflammatory processes. And finally, an abnormally elevated eosinophil count, termed eosinophilia, is commonly a result of parasitic infestation or allergic reactions.